What's up guys, this is Kyle from Wax Museum and I've got another in-person autograph uh, video to show you here and these aren't cards that I just got signed. These are all cards I got signed about a decade ago and it's 2010 Donruss. I felt like I had a ton of these but as it turns out I only had I think 43 uh, which is still a lot considering I had to chase all those players down but anyway you can see, you know, I, uh, you'll see I have a wide assortment of players here. Real quick though, I do want to talk about 2010 Donruss because I feel like it's a lot different than the versions of Donruss that we get now. Uh, this was a year after Panini had gotten the basketball license, so they really didn't have a lot of basketball history, even though Panini did make stickers back in the day. So um, they took some of the baseball intellectual property and some of the baseball brandings like Select and Donruss, and that's uh, where they went from there. And even we got a year of Pinnacle in 2013. So I liked 2010 Donruss quite a bit because there were no borders, there were great um, action shots. It was a, a glossy card. Just a really nice looking set in my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to go through some of these and show you what I got here. This first one here is Danny Granger. And I don't think I ended up getting Danny too many times in his career. I know I got him at least twice, but one of them was in his rookie season on a basketball. And then I got this one here. He was injured a lot during this time frame, so it was kind of hard to track him down. But I did get him on this set, and like I said, one of my favorite sets uh, we got Turkaloo here. I don't even remember. He might have. This might have been his short stint as a, a Raptor. I don't think he was there very long. When, at least when I got him. Obviously, he's pictured as a Phoenix Sun on this card. We've got Bano, uh, DJ Augustine, and um, I was using a, a medium point Lumicolor pen, which is what some of the card companies use. They might use a little bit finer point. I like this because it gotten a little dull, and I liked a, like a bolder signature. Well, the problem was I, I think I let it go too long, and you can see some of these guys, depending on how they signed it, it got kind of streaky, which these weren't too bad. This guy was a signing machine, though. Um, so you can see it some in, like, Henderson's signature here. Like, I should have changed this pen out. I didn't. It is what it is. Um, here's another one like that. But you know what? It's it's for my collection. It doesn't bother me too much. Devin Harris, Arnie Andrea Bargnani, Jose Calderon, that's kind of a weird looking autograph there. Now here's, um, and I'll show you an even uh, worse example of this later on. Here's the only major downside to this set for me is that all of the rookies were had these black photo shoot backdrops. And um, I just, I did not like getting cards signed in silver. I didn't have a, a silver that I thought worked well at the time. And I know you know, it's easy. People online are like, well, you should use a paint pen or you should do this or you should do that. You've got to understand that in these situations when you're getting them boarding a bus or you're at the arena, you're lucky if they even switch pens, let alone trying to get a paint pen to work and work properly. Um, all the guys you see getting, you know, curry on paint pens or, or whatever, um, they've got like front row seats. And so the signatures, you know, they get a little more time with him than you would in this setting. So uh, I, you know, I'll take what I can get. So all the rookies here I did get with the, um, the blue marker that I talked about earlier. Got DeRozan here. DeRozan's always been a very good signer. Amir Johnson, Louis Scola, Wesley Johnson, Jared Dudley. So you can probably see, even though these guys had changed teams, like Brendan Haywood I got when he was a Bobcat, but, um, you know, I saw, uh, looks like maybe I saw the Suns at some point. I definitely saw the Raptors. Uh, Joe Johnson, I know I saw the Hawks. I don't know if he was a Hawk when I saw him. I guess he would have been because I never saw um, the Nets with KG or, or Paul Pierce. So uh, we've got Ben Gordon here. This was when he was a Bobcat. I know. I'm pretty sure of that. Reggie Williams was also a Bobcat for a short period of time. And I, I must have got him two different times because you can see that there's a fine, probably a brand new Sharpie there. And that uh, that pen that I let get kind of dull. Juwan Howard, I know I got with the Heat. Uh, that was one of the few guys I got. Juwan Howard, I think I got Mike Miller that night. Maybe Mario Chalmers at one point. Eduardo Nahara was a Bobcat. Derek Brown, very short-lived Bobcat. Corey Maggetti was actually with the Bobcats as well. Um, he was not... Uh, I, I felt like I never saw him, but I ended up getting him once or twice. We got Roy Hibbert, so I do have my Pacers here. Dante Jones, Brandon Rush... Uh, more Bobcats, Boris Diaw, Tyrus Thomas has got really nice looking autograph. 
Gerald Wallace was always pretty generous. Duhon. So a lot of these guys were, were very generous. George Hill was pretty generous, although um, last couple times I've tried to get him, I don't think I've got him. Daniel Orton was um, a Kentucky guy, and I was actually, this. I got this one in the arena. I was the only person that called him over, and he kind of seemed surprised that someone even, you know, recognized him and called him over. Um, not that he wasn't on, uh, you know, not that he was not a recognizable guy, but, um, you know, I guess just people weren't trying to get stuff for him. You got Jason Thompson. I always, I thought Jason Thompson was going to be awesome. Uh, he was not. Another, oops, looks like another Tyrus Thomas in there. Francisco Garcia. He's got a nice looking, different looking autograph. Mike Dunleavy. Raymond Felton. Jarrett Jack. Jarrett Jack was an amazing signer. And always, you know, quite a bit, a big autograph too. Channing Fry, C.J. Watson, uh, Razul Butler, who has unfortunately passed away um, since his NBA career. And then I got one more I got to show you. I got it covered up here. This is the only time I ever got this person in person. Um, and that is Paul George. And, you know, I talked about how you can't see that... Um, you know, that autograph on that dark background. Well, you know, with me having the light out here, I can see it a lot better. But if, if I'm in normal lighting here, this is a very hard autograph to see. Uh, nonetheless, you know, this is the only time I got him. I got him pretty early in his career. It wasn't his rookie year, I don't think, but I, I think it was the year after that. Um, but uh, I, I didn't have any luck after that. I don't, you know, I can't speak to if he's been a good signer or not. I've heard he's not a good signer anymore. Uh, and, and that's typical with stars. I'm not trying to shame Paul George and, and he you know he's not entitled to sign either but anyway he signed for me so I'm happy about that uh, thankful for that so anyway there's another in-person autograph I guess you'd call it a, a show off or whatever or showcase it's probably a nicer term there uh, if you want more of those just let me know in the comments uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd like the video as well remember there are new episodes of the audio podcast that come out every Thursday and as always thanks for watching <laughs>